This is video, video number six coming at you for how to put these engines together. Okay, last video we put the fan on, we put the uh, harmonic balancer pulley on, we got the serpentine belt on, and now I'm going to spin this engine around like this. Okay, now I'm on page 18. It says, suggest the direction with a screwdriver. And what you do is you need to find this piece right here. So we got fans on the back. And they mount on there a certain way. I've already got mine, I think, lined up. You may have to use a flathead screwdriver or just use the camshaft itself. And these both attach to your cams after you get those holes lined up. All right, just kind of push that on. You get all these cords here, okay? Now it says use the B screws, which are the big ones. Looks like you have about four of them. Yep, all right, we're gonna take four screws One here. Okay, I'm not going to put all four in just for the sake of time right now. So what you need to do is put all four of these in. One, two, three, four. Put all four of those in. After you get those four in, you gotta find this little black piece here. A little sprocket with a square keyway in it. That goes on the back of here. This goes on to attach to the back of your crankshaft, okay? Now, just to get these out of the way, instead of putting this motor on right now, I would suggest maybe we should put these spark plug wires in. That's what these are representing as a spark plug wire. And if you look, should be a little hole for each cylinder. And if you go to pull these things back out, just be really careful because this wants to pull back off. So try not to pull them out. The shortest one goes into the closest cylinder. Just kind of clip in there. Next goes to the next cylinder. Next longest goes to the next one. Okay, I'll come over here. Do the same thing. And I'm just doing this to get them out of the way um, for the next step. Okay, see that this one's shorter, so it goes to the next one. This one's longer goes in there. And these are representing your spark plug wires, like I was saying. They should light up whenever we turn this thing on. Okay, now we got to get this motor on. This motor is what physically turns your engine when you press this button. Okay? So this thing is a little bit tricky. But basically you got three screw spots, one, two, and three, that this sits on. You need to grab your B screws, your bigger ones, and you need to line it up like so. And it can be just a little bit tricky trying to line up because this right here actually is going to go um, underneath right here, okay? And this little tab right here, that fits to the back of your crankshaft. So it's just kind of a little bit of a Okay, it's fitting up on there. You'll know when it fits up on there because it's sitting flush. I've already took the liberty and got a screw started. OK, 
Okay, this thing takes three screws. You want to make sure this thing's sitting on there solid, not wobbling around. Just a little wobbly for my liking. I know it's plastic. You don't want to go too tight. Because you end up stripping the threads. Okay. Now we got spark plugs out wires out of the way. Then I install this motor. Okay. Now they want you to find this right here. This is a cover that's going to go over top of this to make it look a little fancier, I guess, what they're going for. Um, and if you notice, it has a little notch right there. See a little notch right there? That's for your wires to be hanging out, okay? So, this is going to go on something like this. Then I want to get my B screws and put in here and here. Okay. Okay, on page 20 it says go ahead and route your spark plug wires, uh, which we already done. Alright, we're at a good stopping point. So make sure you get all four screws in here, get your two screws in here, line these cams up, put it in, put the motor on. And let's get the back half of this done. After you get it all done, I would say it's safe to go ahead and plug her in. Just don't hit that button yet. Actually, let's hit the button and see if it works. Alright, it's working. I just want to test to make sure that it is working before we go any farther. Alrighty, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please feel free to contact me. Do not work ahead, and we'll catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching.